Hello, welcome back to the channel and the van. And today, it's a little bit overcast, so it's not too warm in the van. So I'm very happy about that. And what I'm going to talk to you about today is something that uh, I came across. And it's something I use every single day in the van and every single time I drive the van. Now, this is a head-up display unit. Now, hang on a minute. You're thinking, head-up display? That sounds complicated and that sounds expensive. Well, let me tell you, it's neither. I bought this from Amazon and it was £30 or thereabouts. So I'll put a link in the description below and uh, you can go and check it out on Amazon and buy one for yourselves if you'd like to. Um, if you don't know what a head-up display is, what it is is a project on the windscreen of a digital speedo. Um, now I use it for a speedo. I'm sh there's other options in here. You can use it for a rev counter and stuff like that. But I, I don't use it there for any of that. I basically want to know how fast I'm going and to make it simple for me, I want to see it on the windscreen. Now, it does come with a little reflective sticker that you stick on your windscreen. Not necessary. Uh, I didn't like the look of that. I put that on and it what there's not one in the box now because I put it on the windscreen. Didn't like the look of it. I thought it spoiled the look of my windscreen. So I took it off. You don't need it and I've thrown mine away. But you will get one in there if you want to put one on the windscreen. That's entirely your personal choice. Okay. So, I'm going to show you the kit that you need to fit this, because like I say, in a Fiat Ducato, it's very simple, and I'll spin the camera around, I'll show you that now. Um, all you need is what you see before you, and you don't even need that bit. Okay, let's put that to one side. You need one of those, which is a, a Phillips or a cross-headed screwdriver, and you need one of those, which is a flat blade screwdriver. And the reason why I use the flat blade screwdriver is to replace that just to make it simple you don't have to go out and buy any more parts use your flat bladed and your cross headed screwdriver and i'll show you how to fit this so let's get cracking so that's just a sleeve covering the box with a little picture on so i'll put that to one side and here is the box so opening the box you've got some instructions put them to one side you also get this cable which is the obd cable that is the obd connection there and i'll show you where the obd port is in a minute when i fit it and on the other end you've got that connection if you can see that if that's focused and that plugs into the actual unit itself okay so that's your cable and i'll put that at one side like i say you get another cable in the box but it's still got a little twisted piece of wire around because i don't use that one and then it comes to the unit itself it sits on your dashboard like that these are then projected onto the windscreen so you can see the display now that's just very grippy so when you put it on your dashboard it'll get a grip and it won't slide around when you don't want to be on slide and backwards and forwards when you're going around corners do you so that sits perfectly still lovely jubbly there's the port there that the cable plugs into i don't know whether you can see that can you see that yeah there's the port and basically that cable is going to plug into there and i'll show you that there you go simple as that okay that's how simple this is and the other end just plugs into another socket and that's how simple things are so without further ado Let's go to the dashboard and I'll show you how to get started. Okay, so first of all, if you come into the driver's side of your Fiat Ducato or whatever vehicle you're driving, but on the Fiat Ducato, it's in the driver's side and there's a little service hatch here, a little service door. Um, that's your little service door there. And under there, we're going to find the, the socket for the OBD port. So you take your Phillips screwdriver or your cross-headed screwdriver and take these two screws out now these screws won't just fall out see they're, they're on like retaining clips so don't worry about losing them you won't lose them okay so unscrew that and then that little trap door just lifts out just gently lift it up over and what happens is these little pegs here that are sitting in there they just pop out and you can put that on one side okay now what I need to do is take out another couple of screws and I'll show you what they are and when I said at the beginning that you need that special shaped screwdriver but I use a flat blade uh, it's for and I'll just show you just above this hatch here to get this trim out you've got two screws you've got that one there and you've got one at the side there Do you see that screw there so you've got one there and one there and basically those screws use that special shaped thing but 
you can just use a normal flat blade screwdriver I find and that screws out of there perfect okay so we'll take that screw out now I'll try and do this one-handed so I can film it for you but I think we all know how to unscrew a screw okay so that's the screw and it's coming out there now and there you go so that's a long screw remember goes in the left hand side there because I happen to know that the screw over here is a shorter screw so I'll take that one out so remember the long screw goes in the bottom the short screw goes in the side and I will try and do this with one hand but it may not be easy there you go okay so that's the shorter of the two screws as you can see there if I put them if I put those side by side you'll see that one's shorter than the other now the shorter screw goes in the side over here and the longer one goes in there okay but now those screws are out I should be able to lift this cowling out there you go and there you go that's that cowling out of there okay drop that over there and put that to one side for a minute and we'll show you what's going on here okay so this is your OBD port and it is on my vehicle it's yellow so you can't really miss it and the connector that connects onto it is sort of a unique shape I don't know whether you can see that it's a it's a unique shape and so is the port so you can only go on one way I can't plug this in the wrong way and if I try to plug it in the wrong way it just won't fit similar as that won't go on it only goes on one way so mine goes on that way and it fits oh Cinderella you will go to the ball there you go fits like perfect there's your OBD port there's the OBD lead that just pushes on there and as I've already said it can only go on one way you can't go wrong with that okay you can't make a mistake so I hope you can all see what I'm doing here what I'm doing is I'm just trying to find a route through this where these wires are right there you go I've fed the wire and this is the OBD comes the wire comes off there and goes up through the side of there now I've just pulled that rubber back a little bit and I'll clean that up in a minute and put the wire behind there that's very flexible as I've said look that just bends so it gives you a little bit of a gap to feed the wire and it comes out through here at the top now that sponge is ideal for concealing the wire because it just folds out the way while you push the wire down into there this unit for me will sit there that'll project onto the windscreen in the middle lovely and I'll show you that when it's up and running um, now it's just a case of plugging it in tucking this wire down the back of the dashboard and tucking it out the way and then it should all be up and running okay so what you can see there is the head-up display on my dashboard and that will project nicely onto my windscreen when I'm traveling and I've got it set up to uh, display miles per hour on my windscreen therefore I don't need to look at my dials okay so I don't know whether you can see that because it's bright for me but I don't know how how well the camera picks it up okay so yeah that's it basically it's on the dashboard it's shown miles per hour and I've already set it up to do that and what I do is I keep this instruction leaflet on my sun visor just above here that way if I ever need to change anything I don't have to go raking around for the instructions okay so I'll turn this engine off now we'll get these uh, we'll get this plastic cowl and put back together and uh, and that's the job done we'll put all this back together now and that's the job done that's how simple this job really is it's uh, it's fantastic isn't it um, a head-up display that you'd normally find on a high-end market car and you've got one on your camera van now so let's get this put back together okay all that's left to do now is put the little service door the little hatch that covers this service area back in so just one last look before we close this up again OBD port wire that's fed through the side that goes up through the dashboard to the top of the dashboard this little service door has got two little feet on it that just slot into there slot those feet in and then manipulate those screws into place and that's it okay so as i say that's all there is to it it's done i can now put this box with the spare wire in my garage you never know when you're going to need it but uh, i always keep the boxes for stuff anyway you never know do you so there you go 
box to go in the garage. Never even used that special tool, but if you do have one of those and you want to use it, that's fine. What I would say is today's video, it's not a very bright, bright day, it's a very grey day, so the lighting might not be fantastic in here. I've opened the skylight to try and let the maximum light in there I can, and I've got the side door open. I like to film inside the van because it's nice and quiet, but if there's any background noise, that's because I've got this side door open, so apologies for that. I hope you've enjoyed this video today. I've filmed it using a new lens on my camera, and it's, it gives a, a wide angle view, wide as possible, and if I show you there, okay, I mean, that's got my full stretch arm's length in there. Um, now, I've filmed this today using this new lens, which is a wide angle lens, to hopefully get the whole background in. Um, which is why I had to go and tidy up before I did this video because you could see the background it was a right mess Okay, so that's that job done. I hope you've enjoyed this video today. If you have please do give me a thumbs up uh, to, to show your appreciation leave a comment if you'd like to uh, I've never had any negative comments about this uh, head-up display. I'm in a CV owners group and when I mentioned it in the group there all I got was positive feedback from that and I know uh, various people who've gone out and bought one and they love it. I absolutely love mine It's not complicated anybody can figure it out But if you do get one and you have you're struggling then please do leave us something in the comments I'll get back to you go out get yourselves one and get the job done. It's easy If you've already subscribed to my channel and you're watching this video. Thank you very much for your subscription It's helping my channel grow if you've come across this channel by accident and this is the first time you've seen me in a video please go go ahead and watch my previous videos you might get some use out of them and consider subscribing um, that way you'll help my channel grow and i welcome subscribers old and new okay so thank you very much again see you all in the next video bye